You see that dude right there. You see that guy right there. You suddenly see a red Chevrolet heavily reinforced with steel plating coming straight towards you. Somebody is sitting in a small turret on the roof, a machine gunner. You think to yourself that maybe having to deal with the police in the old days wasn't so bad compared with what is coming at you now. You breathe in deeply and get ready to press the machine gun fire button. Alright, you have to fight a red Chevy. It's your first combat, car combat, people. This is how they spell it, don't ask me. For some reason they spell it with two V's, even though that's ridiculous. Firepower is 8. Stamina is 15. Now, in regular car combat... Yeah, you roll one die and deduct this number from the vehicle's armor score. So that's why. So you roll, one, you roll two dice, two dice, and add the firepower score um, to the roll. And then I do the same thing on my side and add his firepower score. And then whoever wins gets to roll a die and deduct that amount from the total. You could shoot a rocket at him and just destroy him, but you've only got four. So actually, let me just say that. Before you start the combat, before you start the combat, hold on, before you start the combat, um, 1298, give me a poll as to whether you want to use a rocket. Now remember, you've only got four rockets. So the question is, do you want to fight normally or ro so or use a rocket? So open up a poll. Yeah, it's misspelled, you know, Red Chewy. <laughs> so it's misspelled, but um, they did that in the book. So uh, again, the question is, do you want to use rockets or not use rockets? You've only got four of them. Do you want to use a rocket or not? So tell me that first uh, in a poll, please. And then, um, then we'll do the combat. <laughs> yeah, they would have tried to steal your crap. That's what would have happened, basically, with intent. I mean, if you're going to believe that guy, maybe he's lying, though. And you would have lived with the girl of your dreams forever. You'll never know. All right, looks like everyone wants to fight. Okay, so now we're going to do the fighting. So again, now, sorry about that, Lego. So now we're going to chew up and spit it out. So now, Lego, you know the deal. You're going to roll one die. Um, sorry, two dice. You're going to add the firepower uh, of our firepower to it. Our firepower is 10. And then he's going to do the same on his side. All right, so let's do it. Your dodge, this is settles the age-old battle. Is a Dodge or a Chevy better? So, Lego? Is Lego here? Lego? Summoning Lego? Oh, there we go. Nine. Okay, nine plus it's 20. Okay, so he needs a 12 to tie. He does not get it. Okay, so now you roll one die, Lego, and you we deduct that from the total. And we deduct that from his armor total. So, roll one die to see how much damage you did. <clears throat> I 
Yeah, but use dog to, <laughs> to avoid the bullets. Exactly, Rikes. So yeah, one die roll Lego for uh, the amount of damage it was done. And then we'll move on to the next combat round. Okay, two, there we go. Yeah, he's using actual dice, which is kind of cool. All right, so he's down to 13 damage. All right, here we go. Yeah, he could. we could have it roll in chat. I'll think about doing that the next time, but, um, you know, for old time's sake. Okay, next round. Because I don't want to do... Oh, I got it. That's cool, man. That's cool. Uh, I don't want to do that, um, Rogan, because I want to give you guys a little more interactivity than that. If I roll the dice for both sides, then I feel like you're just watching it happen as opposed to voting. So that's why I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to kind of provide a little bit more interactivity. Next time I may set it up so that we'll have somebody. It can definitely be Lego, but I might have Lego actually roll like using the special roll feature in the chat. So I might do that next time. I will do that the next time around. I would cheat. Yeah. Six for the combat roll. Okay, so it's a 17. Needs a nine to tie, 10 to beat. He gets a five. Okay, so that does not work. You hit him again. How much damage? So roll the one die for damage, please. Okay, two. So we're down to 11. All right, next roll. Next combat roll. So far, you guys are doing okay with the red Chevy. Is every car in this world red? I'm just curious if every car here is red. Five for combat roll. He gets a seven. Fifteen, which is not as much as sixteen. You hit him again. Okay, so damage roll. Two for one die. You keep hitting him, but we're just doing two, two, two. It's required by law. Yeah. They're required to be read. Nine for combat roll. Nice. 20. He needs a 12. The tie does not get it. All right. So now uh, combat, now uh, damage roll. You guys are like smoking them. It's like you're toying with them. You're just like bullet. Pew, 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 pew. You're just like gradually like doing precision bullet strikes on like the tire and then like the left headlight and then like the right mirror. You're just like bing, bing, bing. This is not just like spray and pray. I mean, this is actual, you know. Is that six? Oh, two for one die. Two. <laughs> I thought it was 62. I was like, yes. Okay. All right, combat roll. <laughs> that would have been pretty awesome. Maybe you guys loaded up your, uh, your uh, unlimited bullets. Like, maybe you loaded it with, like, BBs or something. Or paint. Maybe it's like Splatoon. Ten for car roll. Okay, ten... That's a, a tw uh, 10, that's 20. And so he needs a 12 to tie, and he does not get it. All right, damage roll. One for one die. <laughs> do, 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 do
Okay, combat roll. From inside the car, you hear... No, I'm just kidding. That doesn't happen. Um, okay, so you've got 19. He needs an 11 to tie. Does not get it. All right, now, con now damage roll. Oh, my God. <laughs> Slowest combat ever. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> it's just like, awesome roll, nothing. Awesome roll, nothing. <laughs> okay, eight. I guess it's better than constantly missing. 18, 10 does not hit you. All right, what are you going to get this time? One? In before one. <laughs> oh, there you go. Finally, out of frustration, you just blow the machine gun through his window. You didn't get hit once that fight. You stop your interceptor to examine the burning wreck. Who were these people, and why did they attack you without warning? You shake your head and hit the accelerator, eager to reach your destination. You are passing a security truck and thinking about all the money inside it, which is now useless, when suddenly a voice comes through on your radio above the crackling static. It is one of New Hope's leaders. She tells you that a gang of biter, uh, bikers, yeah, biters, a gang of bikers has just um, attacked New Hope, killing eight people in the process. After a short battle, they were eventually beaten off. She warns you to be on the lookout for them as they have kidnapped Sinclair, the council leader. So, you have to rescue Sinclair, man. Rescue Sinclair, the council leader. You, ign I know, right, McGears? You acknowledge the message and say goodbye. After an hour or so of tour uh, driving without any further incident, you notice that your petrol gauge, they call it petrol, is dropping. The interceptor is very heavy on petrol. You stop and pour the contents of the fuel canister into the tank, realizing you'll have to find some more petrol soon. A few kilometers further and you know your luck has really run out. There must have been a car crash at the time of the disaster, which caused a huge tailback of now abandoned cars. It is impossible to continue along the highway. You reverse back to the last exit and drive off the highway. You must decide which way to head along the road which crosses over it. Okay, new poll here, 1298. Do you wish to drive east or do you wish to drive west? So new poll, drive east or drive west? Well, I mean, you can ignore Sinclair and you can say to tell him to go pound sand, but they ask you to, so. You got just got two directions, Rogan. You can drive east along the road or west along the road. You know, those are your options. I believe uh, Ghost had initially said he wanted always to go west. I don't know if that's still true, but. Okay, hey, what's up, Parker? Does the man know where he needs to go? What's up, Parker? How you doing, man? Six votes for West. Seven votes for West. Good to see you, Parker. <laughs> what the hell is in East? <laughs> All right, last call, last call. The map, show, <laughs> the map shows a desert. I'm going to pee out of anger. That's that's funny, Rogan. You bought a fretless base today. Nice, man, nice. Fretless bases often sound really awesome. My last bass player had a fretless base.
You should go back to Joe's garage and ask directions, right? Alright, seven votes wanted you guys to drive west. Okay, west it is. By the way, the entry for going west is 66, so I feel like now you're going on Route 66, just because that amuses me. Uh, the road heads directly uh, heads directly west, and you were able to travel along it quickly as it is relatively free of obstacles. However, your easy drive is short-lived. The road comes to a river, which it used to cross, but the drawbridge, which spans the river, is partly open, stopping you from driving across it. You judge that if you drive over it at about 180 kilometers per hour, the momentum should carry the interceptor across the gap to the far side, but then again, it might not. Do you wish to drive across the bridge or turn around and drive east? So, poll 1298, do you wish to drive across the bridge? Dukes, you want to general lee it, as the Dukes of Hazard would say, or go back east? I assumed you were in America, actually. Or Australia. Actually, I think it would be Dodge the River. Hey, -o! yeah! <laughs> I like the Dan's game face. <laughs> Okay, so uh, you head towards it. Um, I just want to say that just before you do this, um, just before you do this, this is what you hear. Just, I can't, I can't even. <laughs> you reverse your car to give yourself a long enough run up to the bridge. You tense slightly. Let me turn back on tall heights. Sorry. <laughs> you tense slightly. Uh, and the adrenaline starts to flow through your veins. The engine roars as you pump the accelerator. Then you suddenly release the clutch and screech away towards the bridge. You hit the bridge at 120 kilometers per hour and you watch the dial rise to 130 as the front wheels leave the ground. Roll two dice. The total is same or less than your skill score. Not your firepower score, but your skill score. All right, Lego. Uh, Lego, two dice has to be equal or less than 11. It's like 40 miles an hour. No, I think it's more than that. Uh, six. Okay. So you do manage to get it less than your skill score. The wheels slam down on the far side of the bridge, and you have to struggle with the steering wheel to keep the interceptor going in a straight line. You are across the bridge, but traveling at high speed towards an overturned truck. Steampunky post-apocalyptic music. 
Yeah, you're probably right. Except I'm not sure what to do that's not going to fall afoul of uh, getting me muted. Um... Man, the OC Remix. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. The Shadowrun music? Oh. Might be able to do that. I'm sure they would let me do that. There you go, Rogan. Just for you. Shadowrun I know I'm not going to run into trouble with because Hairbrain Schemes loves us, so I'm not worried about that. Okay, good stuff. So, there we go. Just for you, Rogan. Uh, little shadow run going on right here. Okay, so, um, you uh, are across the bridge, but traveling at high speed towards an overround, uh, overturned truck. Roll two dice. If the total is the same as or less than your skill score, let me know, or if it's greater. So you have to roll two dice again and try to get equal to or less than your skill score, Lego. And uh, yes, thank you for saying that, by the way. If any of you have donated and haven't told me yet, Please tell us by hitting exclamation point donated, or if you want to win an anonymous, PM me through a Twitch private message and tell me how much you donated. Thank you, Lego. Yeah, exactly. That would be very, very helpful. It's not quite Mad Max, but this way I'm not going to get muted for no reason. So yeah, two dice. Let's make that happen. Oh. You rolled six? No, I already got that one. Uh, two mo this is this is after you clear the bridge, Lego. You need to roll again. You got over the bridge because of that roll. Now you need to roll one more time because you're headed towards a truck. So, sorry. You need to roll one more time. The six you rolled got you across the bridge. Now you need to make sure you don't crash into a truck. Which would kind of undercut the whole crossing the bridge thing. If you're not sure if you can do it, just remember my motto. They call me Dice Whisperer. That's Dragon Spear, unofficial mascot of Arvcon approved. So one more roll, one more roll, one more roll of those two dice, one more roll of those two dice to see whether you landed it on the other side of the bridge. Four. All right. Okay, you manage to control the speeding interceptor and swerve around the overturned truck. Good job. You drive off the bridge heading west again. You soon come to a T-junction which offers you a choice of roads. You can continue to drive west or you can turn south and drive south. So do you want to keep driving west or turn south? New poll, 1298. Want to keep driving west or do you wish to drive south?
So yeah, new poll 1298. If you didn't catch that before. Drive uh, west or drive south. Yeah, for this one's you're kind of guessing, unfortunately. There's always a certain element of randomness to this. Oh, uh, if you just send me a PM, uh, send me a PM scriptlet. Just send me a Twitch private message and I'll respond and let you know how to do it. Basically, it's just sending me um, some money via PayPal, which I will then donate tonight. I will then donate tonight, and I will use that money to reimburse myself, basically. Um, so that's the less valuable option. But if it's a matter of them not getting the money or getting the money, I'd rather they get the money. So I'll do it that way if need be. So just send me a private message, and I'll give you the address. Um, so yes, uh, poll 1298, please. There we go. Awesome. Thank you, uh, Lego. West or south? <laughs> west. West, 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 west. Nice. $15,225 for uh, Unraveled, the game we saw. So it's going to get made. It has happened. Nice, that's cool. Because Adam West. Oh, stream is buffering? That's that's okay. I understand, man. Yeah, I did drop a couple of frames earlier, um, a few hours ago, but not recently. Alright. I can see that everyone still wants to go west, which is understandable. Alright, so west it is. Standing in the middle of the road, waving his arms frantically is a man wearing denim jeans and a jacket. A motorcycle helmet covers his head. New poll coming up here. Uh, do you wish to stop to talk to the man, or would you rather drive past him? There's a man in the motorcycle helmet frantically waving his arms. Do you wish to stop to talk to him, or drive past him? It's our manifest destiny, yes. Okay, I just uh, responded. Uh, I just responded to your message script. So go ahead and check it. Just send that message. I know it seems a little sketchy. Hey, welcome back, L. All right, so you're gonna stop for the motorcycle helmet, dude, or you're gonna drive past? Ah, uh, we have 48 people in here at the moment. We can get more votes than four. What do you guys want to do? You want to stop for this guy or drive past him? He's a guy in a motorcycle helmet waving frantically for no reason. I'm sure it's fine. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Dragon Spear scares you? Why? He's so cute, though. How could Dragon Spear uh, how could Dragon Spear scare you when he's that cute? 
<laughs> I know. Could possibly go wrong. I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's no issue. Hey, hey, what's up, Eric? Welcome in, Eric. Hello. How are you? All right, stop and say hello. Seven people want to stop and say hello. Three people want to drive past. Eight want to say stop and say hello. Three want to drive past. It's all love in the wasteland. <laughs> hey, what's up, Dr. Whiteface? All right, that and it can't possibly be any worse. Yes. All right, here we go. Okay, so you're stopping. Okay, you wish to stop to talk to him. You screech to a halt, but you leave your engine running. Through your loudspeaker, exactly. Through your loudspeaker, you tell the man to raise his arms into the air and not to try any tricks. You notice that his motorbike is lying on its side just off the road. With your gun drawn, you carefully step out of the car. Suddenly, the man in denim runs off the road and dives into the ditch just as something flies through the air and bounces onto the road between you and the interceptor. With horror, you see that it is a grenade. You see a blinding flash, and in the same instant, a deafening explosion knocks you off your feet. Test your luck. You must test your luck, people. What's up, Nixon? Yeah, Arvcon. Last hour and a half of Arvcon. Yep. That's what happens when you're friendly in the wasteland. Actually, that's not true. You were friendly in the wasteland once and it paid off, and then you were not friendly another time and it didn't pay off. <laughs> yeah, our luck is a little sketchy. Two dice, Lego, just to test that luck. Gotta test that luck. Test that luck, yeah. Uh-oh. That's bad. The force of the blast knocks you unconscious. You wake some time later, your head aching worse than anything you have ever known. Then you remember the interceptor. You sit up and look around, but you have failed in your mission. Yep. You saw a dude in a motorcycle helmet. And you're like, maybe I'm going to stop. And I'm going to help him out. And it just... <laughs> Crimson Jack. Crimson Jack. I feel like I'm not going to play Amazing Grace because he didn't die. He just lost his freaking thing. You rerolled the luck scoring out of got 12. Yeah. Should have fired a rocket. Well, I mean, you know, man, that's rough. That's rough, man. All right, now, actually, I had forgotten to put the saving. The saving point was supposed to be right after the bridge, so it's not the worst situation in the world because um, your save point is actually 151. So you did. Yeah, there is one save point right after the bridge, yeah. So it could have been worse, but, uh, yeah. Can't, you can't trust people in the, uh, wasteland, man. Just can't do it. Whoa! Okay, hold on a second. I have a possible um, donation, but... Okay. 
Okay. Cool. So thank you very, very much. That is awesome. Um, if you wish to announce that you've done it, could the person who just sent this to me, if you wish to announce that you've done it, please type in exclamation point donated uh, if you wish to announce it. And if not... Yeah, sorry. Wow is because um, wow is because I just got a donation, but I want to make sure that the person is willing to do it. So, if you would announce that you uh, just donated, then I will explain. Wow, yeah. He just donated. Scriplet donated. Yes, now Scrip, I want to ask you what he just sent me, and thank you very much, Scrip. What you just sent me was a hundred dollars in New Zealand dollars, which converts to seventy dollars US. Is that what you wanted to send was seventy dollars US? That's awesome. Don't get me wrong. I just want to make sure. That's what you're sending me is seventy dollars US, is that right? Is that sound cool? Because I, I accepted it and it converted to seventy dollars. US, which would put us up to 490. So right now we're at 490, assuming that that's what you meant to send. You sent me 100 and it converts to $70 US. Is that what you wanted to send? By the way, that's amazing. That's amazing, dude. Now I'm really down with this music. Now I'm like, I told you guys I was in a good mood. I felt like this was going to be amazing. That is incredible, man. That's really incredible. Thank you. Yeah, so I just want to confirm that script. That's what you wanted to send me, right? Ah, uh, okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, he's going to top it up. Wow, that's awesome, guys. Freaking tremendous. <laughs> Don't use five million dollars. That's tremendous, guys. So that means that we're going to end up then. We will have passed the $500 mark. That is amazing, guys. Absolutely amazing. And we actually still have an hour and 20 minutes left of ARFCON. So that is amazing, though. Wow. You guys have gotten us to over $500, basically. We've gotten to over $500 based upon what uh, just the ARFCON that we did. I'd say that's pretty amazing for ARFCON 2015. For the inaugural ARFCON, that's awesome. I am super, super happy about that. You guys are the best. Thank you guys so, so much. That's a serious blow um, for the good guys. That's a serious blow against cancer. Um, and it may not seem like a lot. It may seem like a drop in the bucket compared to the millions and billions. But it's a big deal for Twitch to sort of show this kind of uh, commitment to it. And it's a good sign. It's a sign of commitment and connection, which is really cool. So, you have a $100 fake Iraqi currency with the allies dropped there. How much is that in US dollars? It depends. Are you asking uh, Dick Cheney or are you asking... Uh... That will make a big difference. Yeah, so just give me one second while I'm confirming this top off here so I can know what to update it to. And then we'll see if I can uh, get you guys started again on this. Uh, actually, after I do that, then I'm going to do the giveaways um, of Pillars of Eternity and um, Pillars of Eternity and uh, The Witcher because we got both of them. So, <clears throat> Wow. Thank you so much. Okay, I, I just got this, so hold on a second. Just hold on a second as I convert. Okay, that's 35 more. Which means that we are now at... So I'll round that up to so 35 more. Nice. So that means we are at, with that, that I've just gotten, that means that we are at the following total, people. 525 hype! Thank you, Scriplet. Thank you guys so, so much. 525, baby. Five.
525, man. Everyone in chat deserves credit for this because you guys stuck with it. You kept the numbers up. <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, that is awesome, guys. Uh, you guys did a tremendous job today uh, and yesterday. $525, baby. That is no joke. Um, that's no joke. In fact, I'm even going to tweet about it. Thanks, man. I, I really appreciate that script. That's really awesome. And thanks to everybody who's been a part of this. You guys are awesome. I'm, in fact, I'm going to tweet this out right this second. I'm going to tweet it out, and then we're going to do the giveaways, and then we're going to keep going for about another an hour and 15 minutes uh, before ARVCON concludes. But first, I'm going to tweet this out. And we're going to see. We've got an hour and 15 minutes left. See if we can get it any higher. Okay, so I just tweeted that out, and thank you so, so much. Awesome. Wait, what? Whoa, whoo! That's really awesome. Uh, wow, what did you donate, Nixon? 1337? <laughs> nice. 1337. Uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to round that, if that's okay with you. <laughs> that's awesome, Nixon. Thanks, dude. All right, cool. Uh, let me see. So that's 500 and, uh, let's see. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to round that. I'm just going to keep that at 13 because of the, uh, other stuff. So we're at 538. $538, baby. That's awesome. Thanks, Nixon. Thank you, guys. $538. That is amazing. Great, great job, guys. $538. We still got an hour and 15 minutes to go. That's awesome. All right. Time to do a couple of giveaways, people. Down to the cent. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, because I already had to round off from the New Zealand thing. So that works out to about that amount rounding off with the New Zealand money. So it works out. Um, cool, guys. We're going to do a couple of giveaways then in accordance with the prophecy. So this first giveaway, uh, again, we're going to do this giveaway. And then we have one more giveaway of The Witcher. And then I will do one more giveaway at the end of the night. If we hit 600, though. Hold on. I have to change that. That's 538, right? So if we hit, um, if we hit uh, $600, then we'll do another uh, giveaway of something else because I do have some other things that were given to us too if we hit that. Okay. This is donation music. Do, 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 do. Okay, so two giveaways we're going to do. The first one is for Pillars of Eternity. And again, this is thanks to someone that I won't mention because they don't want to be named. But this is thanks to us hitting the $450 limit. Uh, so this is for Pillars of Eternity, the Champion Edition. I just got done playing this game. Pillars of Eternity was great. So if you are interested, this is the time for you, people. And uh, let's see. The giveaway... You don't need to have donated, by the way, to get this. This, is just, this was just unlocked for chat as a possibility. Um, by the giveaways that the generous people in here were able to do. And let's see, it's going to be... Victory, because that's what I feel like. Victory. There we go. Victory, people. Type in victory if you are interested in winning a copy of Pillars of Eternity, the Champion Edition. 
please type in the word victory if you're interested in winning a copy of uh, Pillars of Eternity, the Champion Edition. And again, remember, um, this is uh, not the end of ARFCON. We still have another hour and 15 minutes left, roughly speaking, before ARFCON comes to a close. So donations are still possible open. We will have another giveaway to do The Witcher. And then, as I say, if we hit $600, we'll do another giveaway then. And I'll have another giveaway at the end of the night. So giveaways, giveaways. Uh, the only one who's not eligible for, the, for this, by the way, is anybody who um, has won previous this evening. So if you've won one of the two previous giveaways, you're not eligible for this. Everyone else is eligible, though. Just letting you know. That's it, Dragon. Yep. That's it. So again, type in that word victory if you're interested in winning a copy of Pillars of Eternity. And again, thanks so much to the anonymous donator for making this giveaway possible. And thanks so much to you guys, to Scriplet, to Nixon, and to everyone who's contributed to this point. There are way too many to name at this point. Uh, all of you who donated anonymously and non-anonymously, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much and uh, really struck a blow for this. Hey, Fallen. Uh, no, if you win this one, you can't enter for the other. No, Derp. If you win Pillars, you can't enter for the Witcher. No. Because uh, basically my rule is always you can only win one thing a day. So if you've already won one of the two previous giveaways or you win this one, then you can't win The Witcher just for fairness sake. That's all. What's up, Fallen? Good to see you, man. Inominatumously? Yes. Inominatumously. Inominatumously. No. No clue. Uh, the person asked not to be identified, and I want to respect that. Hello, Fallen's girl. Hi, Fallen's girl. <laughs> L. Okay, last call, last call for the Pillars of Eternity giveaway. Last call. Last call for the Pillars of Eternity giveaway. Last call, last call. Oh, hi, Zero. Hi, Zero. So, all right, you be good to Fallen. Make sure Fallen is good to you, too. Just keep that in mind. Okay, and here we go. The winner... Twelve ninety eight. Twelve ninety eight is the victor. Rigged hacks. Hacks rigged. Twelve ninety eight is the winner. I think twelve ninety eight just fainted. I think that's what happened. Hacks. <laughs> Congratulations, twelve ninety eight. Congratulations, man. All right, so. Uh, 1298, I think I'm pretty sure I have you as a Steam friend, because I think you won something from me before, but let me make sure that that's the case. There it is. Let me just make sure that you are in there. You should be in here. I'm going to send this to you right now. Yep, there you are. I got gotcha. you. Uh, I can't tell you who to thank. Uh, the person wishes to remain anonymous. So I can't tell you who to thank. Um, but, uh, you can thank them in the ether and they will probably hear. But thank all the people who made it possible to even give this game away.
All right, and this, and that. Very nice. And it is on its way to you, 1298. Congratulations. It's on its way to you. Good job, man. Good job. Thanks into the ether. All right, good job. Now, congratulations. Now, second giveaway. Second giveaway of the night. Uh, now, I want to explain this one. Um, this one, again, is courtesy of Mr. Wonders. The way this works is that he had gotten a, a graphics card that qualified for the free promo code, but he already had the game, so he is giving us that game code. And the way it works is I'm going to send you um, what he sent to me, which is basically just um, what you have to do is you have to go to GeForce.com. You have to create an account. Uh, obviously, you don't actually have to have the card, I don't believe, because they have the promotional code in there already. So you just have to do that. Um, and then you'll be good to go. So if it doesn't work, then let me know and I will forward it on to Mr. Wonders if that happens. Okay. Um, let's see. You know what? I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I think I'm going to split the baby on that. I'm going to explain. I'm reading a, a donation that we're going to be getting in just a minute. Um, so that's the way the way things with The Witcher is. Before I do that, though, uh, I just want to mention quickly that we just got another donation. I'm not going to read the name of the person, um, but I am, which just because I'm, I don't know, just because I'm not, because I got the impression that's what the person wanted. But the person donated $12.00 to the uh, Runyon Foundation, which brings us up to an even 550, um, and also disclo uh, contributed an undisclosed amount to the St. Jude uh, Children's Cancer Research. And I'm just going to mention the story. I don't want to bring the person's name up unless the person wants to bring it up. The person said it was okay to mention the story. So I'll say um, that, um, I'll say the story that uh, this person's father, um, who uh, survived cancer, um, and uh, his brother, his father's brother, did not. Um, but uh, it caused his father, basically, um, inspired... Um... Yeah, okay. So basically, this person was talking about the fact of this person going through this person's tapes, and the uh, father passed away a couple of years ago, but the father survived cancer, his brother did not. And as a consequence, my impression is that this was sort of a personal thing to the person who sent this donation. So I want to thank you for doing that um, to the person who sent this to me. You can feel free to mention who you are if you wish, but you don't have to. Either way, I want to thank you for the donation. Um, and that's very, very much appreciated. And I, that's a nice story, too. Um, and uh, I know you mentioned in the story that he read you The Hobbit for your bedtime story. Um, that's exactly what my dad did. Uh, my mother and father both read to me. My father read me The Hobbit. And he read a bunch of other ones, too. Uh, the Mar the uh, Man from Mars, Edgar Rice Burroughs, and uh, stuff like that. So, uh, And I read to my daughter. My wife and I both read to my daughter all the time. So that's a nice story. Um, and it is. Our parents, you know, are very important to us. Even if we don't get along with our parents, the people who raised us have an effect on us one way or the other. And certainly family and friends are important to us regardless. So for those of us who have been affected by this disease, I very much appreciate um, that that was able to happen. So, um, so thank you. Thank you for the donation. And thank you so much uh, for sharing the story. I appreciate that. All right, um, so we have hit 550, um, which is really awesome. Fifty dollars away from another giveaway, but before that giveaway, we have to handle the five hundred dollar giveaway, which is the Witcher. So what I was just saying here, what I was just getting to, was the fact that um, uh, what I was just getting to was the fact that, as was told to me, um, this is from Mr. Wonder. So I'll be sending you basically a copy of the code. So when you win this, I want you to go make the account and make sure that you can get the game. Okay, just make sure you let me know that. With that said, this is going to be a giveaway for the Witcher. The only ones not eligible for this are 1298, Cata, because Catabasis won uh, a game earlier today. And then there was one other person who won a copy. I don't remember who the third person was who won the other adventure game. I don't recall. Um, I think it was Ghost. I think it was Ghost who was. So Ghost is not eligible, Catabasis is not eligible, and 1298 is not eligible. But everyone else is eligible. Um, everyone else is eligible to win um, this Witcher giveaway. Uh, okay, Dragon. So, thank you for sharing that story, Dragon. Thank you for sharing that, sharing that story, man. 
as your unofficial mascot says, thank you. Seriously, thank you. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Rest in peace. Yeah. People that won today. That's right, Rogan. People that won today. So whoever won today is not eligible. Yeah, Ghost was the one who won. Ghost was the one who won. Dragon was the one who told me the story. So I appreciate that, Dragon. I didn't want to out you unless you wanted to know about it, man. That's from Dragon Spear. He sent it to me. Because <laughs> he said he was going to be at ARFCON, but he couldn't be there physically. So he sent me a uh, stuffed animal instead. And he says that this is supposed to go to my daughter after ARFCON. Which is fine as long as I'm able to get it back for next year's ARFCON. Because he's obviously a good luck charm. <laughs> okay. So, uh, the word for the giveaway is going to be... Inspiration is the word. I think that's also, uh, since we were just talking about it, inspiration is the word. Inspiration is the word. If you're interested in winning The Witcher 3, please type in that word, inspiration. Oh, I have a lot of people who want to win The Witcher 3. Boy, do I have me some people who want The Witcher 3. Um, and again, as you guys are doing this, a reminder that we still have donations open for another about another hour. ARFCON will be going for about another hour. So we still have an hour to see if we can get that even north of uh, you know 600 or higher. When we get to 600, we'll do another giveaway. And of course, we'll do a giveaway at the very end of the night. But um, this is what we're looking at. So um, that is that is the deal. No, that's cool. That's cool. Listen, I, I have no problem with that at all. The listen, um, the numbers have been really good today. Um, we've been floating all between 40 and 50 all day today, and we've been keeping it for closing in now on nine hours. Um, so I couldn't be happier with everything. $550 is a great amount of money to raise for the first time ever running ARFCON. Um, all the guests that I invited came through. All the people, the only thing that didn't happen was the board gaming, and we'll do that next year. The board gaming was, that, that was rushed, and we were trying to get a lot of stuff in at once. But everything else has worked exactly as I wanted. We also had a lot of fun. I also got a lot of, just separately, we also got a lot of followers, which is great. Um, and uh, so I, I couldn't be more happy about um, how everything kind of proceeded from there. So yes. You're the inspiration. All right, last call, people. Last call for uh, getting in on The Witcher. Last call for getting in on The Witcher. If I do D&D &D next year, please invite. Well, L, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you know this thing. I was showing this uh, Arvtreon over here. Uh, exclamation point Arvtreon will get you over my Patreon. We're up to 226.22. If we hit $400, um, I will actually do every other month a one-off session, like a one-shot session, D&D session with viewers. And I will do that every other month. Random viewers picked from chat. So, D&D could happen if we hit that number. Um, you know, so it could get there. D&D, that could definitely happen. Thank you, Rogan. So, that could definitely happen. And, of course, you know, I may do D&D &D on occasion if I can fit it in. But I have to also consider, I have to do The Witcher. I've got Arkham Knight. I have to finish up Trails in the Sky. Uh, later on, I've got Sword Coast Legends. Um, you know various dev interviews, things like that. I have to do a couple of fighting fantasy game book streams every month. I obviously usually stream about three times a week. So, you know, three times a week times however many weeks we have left. Uh, with the occasional fourth stream. So figure, let's see. I got... So I've got about the 36 and 390. So I've probably got about 100 streams left. I would estimate something like that. So, you know, the stuff the stuff disappears quickly when you think about it. And of course, we've also got D&D coming with uh, don't forget Ed Greenwood. That's going to be happening as well coming in down the line. Okay. Everything is proceeding as I have foreseen. So be it, Jedi. Yeah, I think somebody pulled a dollar uh, I had 25 patrons, now I have 24, so somebody pulled off a dollar. Because remember, it doesn't get charged until the next, uh, I don't think it actually gets charged until the June 1st. So, it's okay, it happens, you know. Yeah, some patron pulled off a buck, that's alright. Hopefully we'll get other patrons that will jump in and decide to back it, you know, I mean, uh, that's okay. I, I, in general, I'm very happy with the progress of the Patreon, so hopefully it keeps going. 
Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> poor law. La poor law now. Ah, there we go. Dr. Whiteface. Dr. Whiteface. I suppose that's to be distinguished from Grayface, which is how you make the funny face in chat, right? Grayface? That's how you make it. Grayface? Right? Don't you? Isn't that right? Victory for Dr. Whiteface. Congratulations, Dr. Whiteface. That's you, all right. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay, and I'm going to actually um, do this right now as I'm thinking about it. Oh, he's a character in Discworld book. That's right. Totally right. I should know that, too, because I really like Terry Pratchett. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So what I'm doing is, again, Dr. Whiteface, what I'm doing is... Um, I'm sending you, uh, this. I'm sending you what he sent to me. Um, and basically what it asks you to do is go to, um, what it basically asks you to do is to go to, uh, to gforce.com and you'll see the link right there. Um, it goes, tells you to go there and then enter the promotional code. Uh, you're going to have to make an account there, which I assume, you know, it's not, doesn't cost anything. And then you enter the promotional code and then you'll get a copy of it. Okay. But just do it when, as soon as you get this, please go do that and make sure that it works. Okay. Very funny. Okay, and it is on its way to you. There you go, man. It's on its way to you. Congratulations. Now you can actually pay for Witcher 3. So congratulations, man. And thank you very much to all those who made that possible. That's amazing. $550. All right. We got a little less than an hour. We got a little less than an hour. So we're going to go back to uh, the game. We're going to keep playing for a little less than an hour, and then again, I have to readjust this. Uh, then when we do that, um, 550. So we've got a little bit less than an hour, and when we're done, we'll do one final giveaway of the night. We'll do our raid, and we'll wrap up in a little less than an hour. And then I am not going to be back on until probably next week. Uh, I will definitely be on on Tuesday. I might try to do Monday if I can, but no promises because uh, i got a lot of stuff and loose ends i got to get done. And then Tuesday I'll be on for my normal stream, and then that's going to be it for me for the week because I'm going to Columbus, Ohio for uh, a conference there, Origins. I'm very much looking forward to Origins. If anyone's near the Columbus, Ohio area, would love to see any or all of you there. I will be doing uh, professional author panels and stuff like that. Also having a great time with writer friends of mine, playing board games and doing all that good stuff. So uh, that's what I'm going to be doing there. And if you are in the area, I'd love to see any or all of you. I'm also going to be getting copies of a new anthology that I've just had short story uh, peer in that I actually read on here. Um, so that's the case with that. Now on Tuesday, I will also try to um, fulfill some of the Patreon requirements. So I have some poems that I'm going to write that I'm going to read out for people. Uh, I have some, uh, I have a short story that I may read during that as well. Uh, and then I'm going to be doing Fighting Fantasy probably. So that will be another one of the Patreon things checked off the list. Um, so all that is going to be happening next week. I'm supposed to do it when June passes. Um, when we get, rather, when June, when we first get past June, the first of June, so I can make sure that all the money comes through. Okay? Uh, all right. Let us get back into it. Now, when we last left our heroes, can I has on mod now? No! Can't be unmodded. You drunk? I just said that law. I just said that you were my Q. I just said that you were Q. I'm not gonna unmod law. I don't want to unmod Q. I don't unmod Q.
I will not unmod Q. It's not happening. Not doing it. All right, now, where were we before I was so rudely interrupted by a silly attempt? <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, really, man? Uh, well, I only was doing... Actually, I've only been in Origins for about three years. Um, I think. I didn't... I When I first started doing Origins, I want to say... I think this is my third year doing Origins. It's either my third or my fourth year. Wow, is that possible that I've done it for four years already? Could be. Code's already been redeemed. Oh, no. Okay, I just contacted him, so hopefully we'll hear back from him uh, shortly. Hopefully we will hear from him shortly. Alright, so hopefully Doctor, uh, we'll get that sorted out, I hope. That's okay, what's up, Shadow? Oh, really? Yeah, no kidding. Law gets to be Q Apples because Law was the guy who does all the stuff with the bot. Believe me, though, Apples, there's many other things that you that uh, different people represent. I already told Glog that he was like the dude from, um, what do you call it? He was like the dude from, uh, from what's his name? Um, sorry, I accidentally shut down all of my stupid... Okay, there we go. I think I finally got it. Um... So, um, but I already told Glog that he was, uh, the German contact for the French police inspector from, um, uh, Day of the Jackal. Um, so there was that. Um, so I felt like there was that. And then, my webcam froze, what? It did? I get to be James Bond. And then, uh, Apples is not Jaws. No, Apples? Oh man, who's, who's Apples? No, 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 Apples gotta be someone more than that. Apples is like... Apples is the mysterious... Fi oh, God, no. Apples is the, the... He's the henchman that everybody... You know who you are, Apples? You're Hawkeye. You're the guy that people are like, this guy's awesome. And then you show up with superheroes, and everyone's like, I don't know if he's awesome, because I'm not sure... And then you do all, a whole bunch of badass stuff, and everybody ends up identifying with you, because they're like, yeah, that's right, he's badass. Because even though he doesn't, like, wave around this massive hammer, and he doesn't, like, turn into a big green gamma thing, he's a freaking badass bow wielder who does all this awesome stuff. So you're a Hawkeye, man. There you go, Apples. You are a Hawkeye. Also, you're Jeremy Renner, who's badass, too. Because Jeremy Renner is Hawkeye, so... I'm just saying. Apples is not odd job. <laughs> Show them what you do, random task. Okay. Uh, where the hell was I when I was starting to do all this stuff? Okay... Oh, yes, that's where we were. Shadowed. Oh, Shadowed Mage. Oh, I actually have eaten once there. That was really good, man. I have eaten at Max and Irma's. It was really good. No, 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 no. It's not like meh. It's the opposite of meh. 
No, what I'm saying is, Bill Jory, he's with a group of superheroes, but he's awesome anyway. I think I know who Shadow Mage is, but I won't tell him unless he wants me to tell him. Well, okay, so fine. Law pretty much spoiled it. Law was like, I'm Batman. Listen, I'm Batman. Do you bleed? You will. My name is Shattered Mage, and only when I'm confronted with my main adversary, Shatter Mage, do I have any weaknesses. I'm Batman. I picked Batman. I said you were Batman, goddammit. I said repeatedly you were Batman, then Law made it up because Law's Q, and somehow Q is more powerful than Batman, which is crap, but I just said it was true, so you know it's true. Alright, Law. You like your Q? That's what I'm talking about. Let's see. 1298. Uh, who are you? 1298 has to be the up-and-comer because you just started doing polls. So I feel like 1298 has to be the up-and-coming guy. Um, 1298. You know who you are? You're Falcon from the Avengers. You're the new up. You're the new guy from the Avengers. No, I don't want you to be Iron Man. I you, but you're Shadowed Mage. Iron Man is out front. Everyone knows Iron Man. Man is uh, Iron Man is Tony Stark. Everybody knows that, right? Batman's all like secret and concealed and blah 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 blah. No, I'm not going to say all 50 people in chat are. In fact, we're going to move on and play a game here, people. We only got 45 minutes left. So let's go here. Um, <laughs> okay, you drive off the bridge heading west again. You soon come to a T junction, which offers you a choice of roads. Do you wish to keep driving west, or would you rather drive south? So this is after you've gotten over the bridge. That was the save point, is after you cleared the bridge. So do you wish to keep driving west, or do you want to drive south? So new pole, uh... New pole, uh... Falcon. New pole, Falcon. Or Shadowed. I'm Derp. Yeah, we died once, Build. Well, you didn't die, you just got your car stolen. So... We did, in fact, beat Space Assassin. Yes, we did. You guys beat Space Assassin. You defeated Cyrus. And uh, now you're playing uh, Freeway Fighter. And you won't get it wrapped up by the end, but that's okay, because we'll finish it up probably in the following session, just before I head off for Origins. That's true. You did find a kitchen that was not Doom. That's true. All right. So let's see what we got here. All right. 11 votes for West. Let's say that's pretty definitive. Okay. West it is. West it is. All right. Standing in the middle of the road, waving his arms frantically as a man wearing denim jeans and jacket. A motorcycle helmet covers his head. Do you wish to stop to talk to the man with a motorcycle helmet on his head, or do you wish to drive past him? <laughs> Kill him is not an option, sadly. But we need a new poll here at 1298 or somebody. Or shout out, thank you. Thank you for the host, Shatter.
<laughs> yeah, the last time uh, this guy was sketchy. Maybe it was just a coincidence that a grenade happened to end up underneath your car as the guy was diving off the side of the road. Maybe. Just saying, maybe. All right, drive past eight. People want us to fail. That is like, I think it'll be different this time. Maybe you guys figured that this time you won't be uh, destroyed by the grenade. Maybe that was the thought. This time you won't get killed by the grenade and like... All right, looks like people are pretty cool with uh, moving on from it. So you're going to drive past him. All right. You travel west looking for a major road going south, but the decision is made for you when you arrive at a solid tailback of cars just beyond a left turning. The impassable blockade of cars and trucks stretches in the distance as far as you can see, all of them long since abandoned. Do you wish to head south, or would you rather stop and look inside some of the abandoned vehicles? So, new poll. Do you wish to uh, head south or stop and look at the abandoned vehicles? Yeah, shout out. When you were not here, uh, one of the two of you can do it. When you were not here last time, 1298 was doing the polls just for that time. So I don't think it matters which one of you does it. I'm cool either way. As long as no one is gets angry at each other. Like, seriously angry. I don't think Dan's game faces count as super anger. I know, I know. Well, I know, but you but you weren't here for a while, man. I mean, it's not you know, it's not like it's been taken away from you permanently. It's just for tonight I feel purposeless without it. It's not always going to be your job. <laughs> yeah, okay. I like the fact having two of you skilled in poll usage, I think is a good thing. I like the idea that two of you are skilled in polls. Ah, we this is actually going to be kind of close. You're just going to have to take it back, Batman. I run polls in this place. I'm serious. I run polls. This is Shadowrun music, Shadowed. This is Shadowrun Returns Dragonfall. Uh, Rogan suggested something a little bit more, less folksy, and a little more, uh, you know, post-apocalyptic, I would say. So yeah, this is the soundtrack to Dragonfall. Okay, last call. And by the way, um, Dr. Whiteface, with all luck, I'm, as soon as I hear back from him, I'll let you know. If for some reason that Witcher thing falls through and it doesn't happen, I will send you another game. Uh, it won't be The Witcher, but it will be another game that'll be pretty good too, I think. Um, I'll give you a choice of a few games you can choose from. So you'll get something either way. I'm sorry about that. He did say that he was like a little nervous that it was because of the whole setup that he thought it would work, but he wasn't sure and he said to let him know. If it didn't, so that's what I did.
Okay, cool. Alright, good. Yeah, sorry, man. But hopefully, hopefully we'll get it resolved, though. Yeah, I was also trying to find something that wasn't going to get this auto-muted, and I figured that this was pretty likely to be, this was a safe alternative, you know? Because they're not going to mute, you know, since I get along with the harebrained schemes guys very well, I don't think they'd have a problem with me playing uh, this at all. Sorry, I was just checking something on Twitter. Beg your pardon. Okay, cool. Um, all right. I don't think I've ever heard of Carpenter Brute. Okay, so six, eight people want to stop and check out the cars. All right. So let's stop and check it out. Whoever, whatever caused the tailback certainly created havoc among the owners of the vehicles. Cars appear to have locked into other cars as frustrated drivers tried to ram their way out of the blockage only to make it worse. You squeeze between the vehicles looking for something useful. You find a crowbar in a truck and you use it to force open the boots of several cars, and by boots we mean trunks of several cars. Moving up the line of cars, you suddenly panic at the thought of the interceptor being left unguarded. Do you wish to run back to your car or do you wish to finish your search of the cars? So do you wish to, so new poll, do you wish to run back to your car or do you wish to uh, finish your search of the cars? Will you finish your search? <laughs> das boot. <laughs> exactly, Jackerman. Even if this was a silly idea, you just gotta keep. All right. So I'll leave this open for just another another fifteen thirty seconds or so. You discover a pan-dimensional homing device. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then the universe sort of gets connected and... Oh, that's cool, Shadow. That's fine, man. Oh, nice. Tall Heights just favorited my tweet about Tall Heights in the Twitch channel. So that means they must have just, uh, they must have finished up with the show. Alright, so seven of you decide to finish. As you are looking through the trunks of the car, you hear someone laughing hysterically, then the sound of a car revving its engine and driving away. You have failed. No, I'm just kidding. I made that all up. Uh, that is not what happens. Inside the boot, again, a trunk, of an old Ford, you find something which makes you whoop for joy. A full canister of patrol! 
You've gotten a new canister of fuel. Carrying the crowbar and fuel canister, you leap across the roofs of the cars to hurry back to the interceptor. Luckily, it is still where you left it, and you are soon on the road again, heading south. You actually add a luck point, but since you're already maxed out on luck points, you can't do that. But yes, you now have an extra... Extra canister of patrol. Woohoo! Yo! You totally bought that? <laughs> You're like, God damn. You know, it's fine. Okay, so good job, guys. You got some fuel. Uh, let's see. The country road runs straight ahead, far into the distance, and you're able to make good headway as it's relatively free from abandoned cars. After an hour's driving at high speed, you arrive at a T-junction. Do you wish to continue driving south, or do you wish to turn left and head east? <laughs> so, do you wish to continue driving south? So, new poll, please. Do you wish to continue driving south, or do, we, do you wish to turn left and head east? I love the Dan's game thing. <laughs> it's so funny. I, you know, I Dan just looks absolutely nothing like that now. It's so weird to me to look at Dan. Like when you go over to Dan's gaming, I just I have such a hard time getting like that face. Actually, reminds me of a friend of mine. The Dan's game. It does not remind me of of what Dan himself looks like anymore. He looks so different now. I don't know. What do you think, guys? Like if I get partnered and all of a sudden I've got like some face of mine, like. Like, shows up as an emote. Do you think, like, he won't recognize me ten years later? You'll be like, what? That doesn't look like Arf. Not at all. I'm just curious if that's how it goes down. Perhaps I'll look instead like this! The power of Dragon Spear of the unofficial mascot of Arf 2015 compels you. Oh, yeah, yeah, the Arv Shades. Oh, I see how it is shadowed. I see how it is shadowed. I see how it is, EXE. Okay, seven votes for South, two votes for Dan's game. So seven votes for South. All right, South it is. And by the way, we've just hit 11.30, so we have a half hour left of ARVCON. So if you guys want to see one another giveaway, let's see if we can get that number up to $600. $600 for donations would be awesome sauce. Um, and we've got a half hour left to do it before ARVCON comes to a close. Uh, so let's see what we can do for the rest of that half hour, people. Exclamation point donate. We'll get you over to that. The road cuts through overgrown fields, but there are no obstructions on the road. You check your mylometer. The hell is a mylometer? A mylometer to see how far you've come and see that the petrol gauge is reading empty again. If you've picked up a full fuel canister recently, and you have, then you can use it. It tells you to turn to 197 if you have, and you have. You stop the car and get out to empty the fuel canister into the petrol tank. The canister does not hold much petrol. I swear to God, I can't stand that I have to keep calling it petrol. Um, look out for more if you hope to reach San Anglo. By the time you set off again, it is early evening, and you watch the setting sun through the right-hand window. Soon it will be dark, and there is a new decision to make. Will you... Here we go. Choice number one... They're just reading to novels to people on Twitch. Yeah, there you go, Beljora. With people who are super excited. There you go. Uh, soon it will be dark, then a new decision to make. Will you... One... Drive off the road and sleep inside the interceptor. Choice number two, find a building to spend the night inside. Or choice number three, drive on through the night. 
So your three choices are drive off the road and sleep inside the interceptor, find a building to spend the night inside, or drive on through the night. Those are your three choices. Mile O meter, yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. I was just thinking about how comfortable it would be sleeping inside the Interceptor. On the other hand, if you're sleeping inside the Interceptor, I feel like, I mean, you know, armor and stuff, you know? Yeah. Opening video Rock Band 2. Okay. There we go. All right. Poll is closed. So, choose too late. <laughs> okay. So, drive off the road and sleep inside the interceptor. Okay. You pull off the road and park the interceptor behind a low wall. When you turn off the engine, you notice how deathly quiet it is and wonder if anybody heard you stop. You eat your food quickly, but wait until it is completely dark before settling down to sleep. In the morning, you wake early, feeling refreshed. Add two stamina points, or basically add, you know, the two that you already had, so you can't go higher than max. So, you start up the interceptor and are soon heading south. Okay. Okay. The countryside is picturesque in the early morning light, but you are unaware of the dangers ahead. The road has been mined by country outlaws waiting to rob anybody passing through. Lego, if you would please roll one die. I'm assuming uh, granola bars, Beljora. Or possibly hamburger and fries. Actually, I think granola bars is more logical. Granola bars, trail mix, maybe some nuts, you know. A piece of cheesecake. I'm just guessing. So, yes, roll one die for me, please, Lego. You did. Lego, we did sleep in the car. We just slept in the car. That's exactly what we just did. Yeah, full Chinese course meal. So, I like food descriptions. Indian food. A little, uh... Indian food, little uh, chicken tikka masala, little naan bread, a couple of samosas. I like Indian food. Or Mexican, some enchiladas tres amigos with uh, meat, cheese, chicken, some uh, black beans, rice. Or actually a chipotle burrito, chicken, guacamole, uh, a little bit of sour cream, some lettuce, a little bit of cheese, black beans, brown rice. Oh, yeah. The hell? There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Uh, so, a six. Let's see what happens with a six. Miraculously, you drive through the minefield without triggering off any of the mines. Add one luck point. Quite unaware of your lucky escape, you continue your journey south. Wow. You guys got super lucky. It's going to be another save point, too. 
Good stuff. Gigantic burrito for supper. Wow. Yeah, I like me some burritos too. Okay. Uh, the over... Let's see. Uh, as the morning wears on, it becomes very hot. And the further south you travel, you notice a change in the vegetation. The overgrown fields turn into scrubland. It won't be long before you're driving across the desert. A few miles further down the road, you arrive at a major junction. Do you wish to turn left to head east, or would you rather keep driving south? So another poll here. East or keep heading south? No, my webcam did not freeze. I'm still here. Making you hungry? Oh, sorry. I guess I shouldn't be talking then about the um, pasticcio that I enjoyed earlier tonight, along with some uh, fries that were um, drizzled in olive oil. Uh, earlier before that, of course, I had a bowl of salad with feta cheese, a um, little bit of blue cheese dressing on it. Earlier today, I had some fresh meatloaf uh, that was made for us, some carrots. I also had a couple of granola bars, and I had for dessert a, a piece of chocolate also. So I shouldn't talk about that, right? Trolled! I actually did have all those things, but... Uh, sorry, Matt. I don't know, man. I don't... I, it's okay on my side. Our scumbag emote. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Matt, dude. I mean, that's one of the... I'm telling you, right there is the reason why... I mean, I don't know if it's just me. I mean, for a lot of people, it's okay. But that's just yet another reason why I want the, the partnership to happen. The real reason I want the channel to get partnered is because of the uh, transcoder. Because the transcoder will make it a lot easier for everybody, regardless of where they are. So, hopefully, uh, hopefully the Patreon will continue to show that. Um, and events like this will show the strength of the community, I hope, as well. So, let's hope so. Oh, that's all right, Lego. It's okay. Your dad's allowed to use the his own internet. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> it worked out. Okay, south three votes. Closing this down. Closing this down. There are 15 seconds. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11. Nine, eight, seven. What? I didn't catch your west vote? No, I didn't catch your west vote. Because no vote, no such vote exists, Thor. That is what you're doing, yes. Which is, that's basically the direction you want to go, so. Uh, okay, so you guys are going to continue to go south. Oh, sorry, uh, Darkin, but it's okay. You're, that's what everyone else wanted to do anyway. That was the majority went along with that idea. So, leading off the road on your right is a rough road which is marked with several sets of tire tracks. The tracks look as if they were made quite recently. Do you wish to drive down the rough road, uh, or would you rather stay on course for San Anglo? Do you wish to drive down the rough road or stay on course for San Anglo? Do you want to follow the tire tracks down the rough road or stay on course? New poll. I'm guessing this is America. It could be Australia, but... Oh, nice, Dr. Whiteface. I'm glad, man. Yeah, I really enjoy the Fighting Fantasy gamebook streams. I really enjoy them. I hope everybody else does, too. It seems like a lot of people do. <laughs> it's a Dan's game battle. Ah, oh, cool, man. Well, Foom is good people, Dr. Whiteface. Foom is good people, so... Uh... I've, I've learned a fair bit of streaming uh, knowledge. As I said, Catabasis is like my stream mentor as I see it, but I've definitely learned quite a bit from people like Foom and, um, and learned some stuff from Inom and people like that as well. So that's cool, man. Thanks. Dan's Dan's Revolution. 
Squirtle is not an option. Ah, uh, you guys are like disciplined. You're like, nope. Nope, not driving down the rough road. Okay, you're going to continue down that road. You flash past a handwritten sign which reads, Pete makes engine sweet, one mile to the left. You slow down as you approach a stone building with a corrugated iron workshop attached to it which has the words, Spark Plug Pete's painted on a billboard on top of the roof. There are a few cars parked in the forecourt. As you come to a halt, you see this. Let me show you what you guys see. There we go. This is what you guys see. Let me just edit that for you. All right, this is who you see, people. Who I see you as. Ah, interesting, Dragon Spear, Dragon Spear. Let me think about that. Let me think about that. Mm. Dragon Spear, I see you as Captain America. Since they're all Avengers quotes, I see you as Captain America. You got a certain moral code, got a certain moral core. Uh, I think you're relatively earnest uh, and disciplined, and I have the image you could probably toss a uh, vibranium or whatever the hell it's called shield really fast. So I'm guessing. There you go. Okay, so um, as you come to a halt, a thin, pale man appears in the workshop wearing an oily blue mechanics overall and a baseball cap. He waves and says, Nice car. Pretty fast, I guess. But not as fast as old Pete can make it. If you're interested, I like payment and credits and goods. I'll do a good job for you. Do you want to stop to let the mechanic modify your engine? Or refuse his offer politely and continue your journey south? So, new poll. What's up, TNS? Do you wish to uh, let the mechanic modify your engine? Or refuse his offer and continue south? Pimp my ride hype. You did make your own boomerang and bow and arrow. Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know if I told you guys that I saw uh, Age of Ultron a few days ago. Um, I did see Avengers 2 with my wife. We liked it. We thought it was good. Sounds more he's like, don't want someone messing with my ride. Maybe you have a longer bri uh, longer bridge the next time. Baseball bat from a 2x4. <laughs> nice. Alright, last call, last call on this. 
We got, we're in our last 15 minutes of ARVCON, by the way, guys. Last 15 minutes of ARVCON. So now's the time. If you want to get in those last donations, if you want us to hit that $600 level and do one uh, final giveaway before the last giveaway of the night, now's the time to do it. Uh, kick in some if you can. Uh, 50 more dollars towards uh, the Damon Runyon Cancer Research Foundation. That is what we've got. So one last time on that score. It's George from a Mice and Men. Okay. More opportunities to forward, exactly. Whoops. There you go. All right. So you are going to let him inspect the engine. Modify the engine, I should say. You drive onto Pete's forecourt and park the interceptor inside the workshop. Pete quickly examines the engine and says that the acceleration of the interceptor could be improved by the addition of a supercharger. He tells you that the cost will be 100 credits plus some medicine. So specifically, it'll cost you 100 credits and two packs from your med kit, but he'll, he, can, he can improve the acceleration on the interceptor. So do you want to um, have him give him the 100 credits, two packs from the med kit, and have him uh, beef up the acceleration of the car? Or do you want to decline the offer and carry on south? So new poll. Have him do it at gunpoint. He's not what... Well, he's kind of bartering. You actually should be happy as far as that goes because most of the time these guys don't want to barter. Most of the times these guys don't want credits. So the fact that he's taking credits is actually probably helpful. And yes, med kits are basically provisions. Yeah. Shoot him and take his stuff is not valid. It's not stuff unless you're going to take his brain and his ability to modify a car. Take his brain. <laughs> I, hope springs eternal, right? Hope always springs eternal. Okay, let's see. Uh, Okay. Must have a soup charger. Alright. A lot of you guys want supercharged engines. I don't blame you. I can understand that. Okay. So it'll cost 100 credits. 100 credits is what it's going to cost. I say gold. It's actually credits. 100 credits. And two uh two packs from the med kit. Alright. You settle down to relax in the shade while Pete busily sets to work on the engine. He taps and bangs away, whistling happily. You drift in and out of light sleep. Two hours later he slams down the reinforced engine cover and says, Okay, she's ready to roll. After giving Pete the 100 credits and two packs of medical supplies, you start up the interceptor and accelerate away as fast as possible. You can feel the extra acceleration in your back and smile contentedly. Pete has done a good job. Add one luck point. Except you can't because you're already maxed out of luck. But anyway, you've missed the mines. That was lucky. You found the fuel. That was lucky. This was lucky. So, so far, so good, man. Apparently, he's done a good job. Despite your claim that he's a hack, 1298. Okay. Okay. <laughs> nice, Rogan. Uh, let's see. It is not long before the green vegetation gives way to more barren terrain, with tufts of dry grass dotted on top of the stony brown earth. You soon arrive at the edge of the desert, where the road is joined by another main road leading east. Do you wish to turn left, or would you rather keep going south? 
So left, which I think would be east. So do you wish to turn left, which I think would have you going east again? Oh, yeah, that's right. Joined by another main road leading east. So basically, do you wish to go east or south? So new pole, east or south? I know, right? That would be funny. He's like, haha, this is great. Boom. Choose Rutata. <laughs> these poll, these. I feel like this is what you call a weighted poll, right? I feel like that's definitionally a weighted poll. <laughs> Everyone's like, Dan's game or Craigasm? Like, obviously Dan's game. All right. However, it looks pretty obvious that people are into that. It looks like they're obviously going south. Okay, so we're going to keep going south. Okay. The landscape turns to a reddish brown as you drive further into the desert. The road runs south straight as an arrow and is virtually clear of abandoned cars. As you drive along, something you recognize catch, catches your eye. Something you recognize catches your eye. And let me show you guys what it is. All right, this is what you see. You guys see this. How do they catch it? Okay, no, it's not Joe's Garage. Um, as you drive along, something you recognize catches your eye. It is an overturned interceptor, which must have veered off the road and rolled over after its driver died at the wheel. Do you wish to stop and see if there are any spares worth taking, or would you rather keep on driving? It's our car, yes. All of a sudden, you realize that it's all been a dream sequence and you no longer have a car. No. Uh, do you wish to stop and see if there are any spares worth taking, or would you rather keep on driving? What are your choices? Let's stop at the obvious trap. <laughs> Walk right into trap. <laughs> uh, uh, it's funny. I also like how chat is completely unfazed by that. They're just like, yeah, walk right into the obvious trap. It's, you know, it's what happens. We have luck in rockets. What did I do? What? I totally ignored you. What? A flipped car? Are you tired? Yeah, I didn't ignore you. I saw it right there. I didn't ignore you. I saw it. I don't ignore Shadow Mage. Because he's Batman. I don't ignore you either, Rogan, because as you just said, you're the god of chaos or whatever. So, I guess it's hard to ignore the god of chaos. Lucky Rockets, exactly. Last five minutes of ARVCON, people. Last five minutes of ARVCON. Last five minutes of ARVCON. This is your last chance to get those donations in. If you want to get it up to that $600 mark, last chance is now. Last five minutes of ARVCON.
<laughs> walk right into trap. Eh, you guys are nothing if not predictable. All right. Uh, so, um, okay. So you are, in fact, going to stop. There is one wheel in reasonable condition remaining on the interceptor. The tire is flat, but can easily be inflated again with a can of flat you fix. It does not take long to remove the wheel and store it inside your own car. So, you now have three spare wheels. So you've got three spare wheels. Oh yeah, it's a command. It's a tarp. Absolutely, it's a command. <laughs> uh, now, do you wish to look inside the crashed car, or do you feel that you've pushed your luck enough and want to continue your journey south? Oh, his friend is getting trapped in the clutches of marriage? Yeah. Listen, it depends on the marriage. I'm pretty happy in my marriage. It hasn't always been easy. Uh, marriage is often very difficult, and there's been definitely struggles, but in general, I think it's been a good thing. So, I recommend it. Again, it has to be the right person, though. I mean, in our case, you know, uh, my wife and I um, have done a lot of work, too, um, with each other. And I think that's important also. It wasn't just like, you know, we fell in love with each other, we got married, and everything was awesome. Um, we did fall in love with each other, and we got married. But definitely, there was a lot of work involved, and a lot of back and forth, and some struggle, and all that stuff. That's what marriage is. In a way, it's what life is. But I think it's worked itself out really well, and we're really happy, I think, at the moment with how things have worked out. And, um, and our daughter, too. I mean, Senevine, you know, my daughter came as a result of it, and Senevine is an incredible treasure and joy. So I'm happy with my marriage and my child. What's going on? What happened? All right. Poll close. All right, here we go. You pull open the driver's door and reach inside to open the glove compartment. Suddenly you hear a rattling sound and realize with horror that you have disturbed the nest of a rattlesnake. The snake strikes and bites your arm, emptying deadly poison into your veins. Do you still possess a pack of medicine from your med kit? You do, in fact, possess one. You run to your car and tear open a pack of medicine from your med kit. You inject yourself with snake bite serum and dress the wound. However, the treatment does not increase your stamina. It merely prevents the poison from killing you. You recover some time later, but are nevertheless weakened by the ordeal. Lose one skill point and two stamina points. You walk back to the overturned interceptor and shoot the snake with vengeful glee. Inside the glove compartment, you find a few meters of coiled plastic tubing which you decide to take with you. With your arms still throbbing painfully, you drive off south again. Snake! <laughs> so you got some...